What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, I break down my goals for 2021. And while I know it's a little bit late, it's better late than never. And you guys know the way I like to roll. And I'm also gonna break down a couple of tips regarding goals that I learned from my sports psychologist for over seven years. And again, this was the guy that propelled me to the top of online poker. So all these tips that you're gonna get are bound to make an improvement on your life as they did on mine and they took me from an average everyday grinder to a world-class player in online poker which is something that's pretty extraordinary considering I was playing with some of the smartest people on the planet and yet I'll say this much sometimes I can't even add without a calculator so all that and a heck of a lot more and that's why I am super fired up and I know for a fact my cat is fired up so let's go ahead and do this all right guys and girls it's not that often that my cat gets fired up so as a result of that I'm gonna make sure this video is a banger and let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of how I approach goals overall and talk a little bit more about this book that I was actually featured in because of what I was able to accomplish when I played poker online now the truth be told as I said before, I wasn't very good at poker. I was extremely good at emotional control and that was all thanks to this gentleman and his help with setting goals for myself and improving upon myself year after year. So let's talk about what he taught me and what can help you in your life. So overall, like I said, this is the book that I was in. I do highly recommend it as it is a poker book, but it does apply to life in general. And you can see right here that my story was covered a couple times on here. Once on page 127 under entitlement tilt, which is a whole other story of why I thought I was entitled to be the best at a different poker game. But that's a whole other story. Let's talk about what I learned in terms of goals from this book. Now, first and foremost, there is a wrong way to set goals and a right way. Now, the typical way that people set goals is they'll say, for example, if you wanna lose some weight, right? Let's say you start off 2021 and you're like, I wanna lose 20 pounds. Already out of the gate, that is a bad goal to set in general because all you're doing is a results-oriented goal, which is saying you want something, right? It's the equivalent of me saying, I want to have a million-dollar business. That's my goal by the end of the year. But the reality is that if you just have a results-oriented goal, you have no clear-cut plan on how to get there. So the real way to set additional goals, which run side-by-side -side with the results-oriented goal, is to set what is called a process-oriented goals, or steps that are going to take you to the million dollars. So for example, if you wanna lose 20 pounds overall in 2021, what would you do in terms of process to make that happen? Well, it's as simple as you start to work out three times a week. You cut back on fried foods. You cut back on eating out and you say, I'm not gonna eat out anymore. I'm not gonna eat any more fried foods and I'm gonna work out three times a week. And as a result of doing those things, if you start to measure your progress week by week, you should see improvements in the overall achievement of the goal. And same thing when you start a million dollar business. What steps are you gonna take in order to get to the million dollars a year what kind of process oriented things are you going to have to do in your business day in and day out that will get you to certain checkpoints and make sure that you reach your goal that's exactly how he taught me to set goals so as a result let's talk about what my goals are and then you can set some goals side by side or you can compare what you're thinking to what I'm thinking now one other thing before I jump into that I remembered is one thing that does help me accomplish these goals is having some kind of goal planner and I used to buy this one by Michael Hyatt but it found it a little bit too expensive it's called the full focus planner and as you can see I use the shit out of this thing I literally write in here all the time and it's pretty cool because it has you set up a couple different annual goals as well as achievement goals and things of that nature and it breaks things down into like habit goals and then it always gives you what's called a daily big three or what three big things are you going to accomplish that day that will make your day a a plus day right so I obviously did that for a while it certainly did help me and then like I said you had to pay for a year in advance of these planners and I was like ah I just wasn't feeling committed to doing that and I usually like to fly by the seat of my pants sometimes so then I found this other one on Amazon that I haven't actually jumped into quite yet but it's called the get stuff done planner although I would prefer the get shit done planner if they did have it but this one's very similar to the Hyatt one the thing that I like about this one is right out of the gate in the very first few pages they have a vision board there so you can literally 
paste your vision board picks on here and that will obviously inspire you if you have some pretty decent stuff in there that gets you fired up right but it has pretty much all the same things that the other one had and i like both of them about the same amount but i just haven't used the second one however i have found that when using that on a day-to-day -day basis it improves my performance it improves my focus and i literally get shit done especially those three big things day in day out and that's how i'm able to run so many different businesses now the other thing that obviously helps me is the ability to outsource and that while that won't come initially because some of you might not have the money to do so at first you're gonna have to be a jack of all trades and a master of none but as you scale up now you can jump into more businesses and be able to scale out those businesses easier quicker and now have an entire team to run it for you and that's kind of why i'm able to accomplish so many things in a given year so let's talk about what i've got on my goals for this year and as i said you guys follow along or guess what post below what some of your goals are so i can comment on them and encourage you to accomplish them uh, just like i'm doing so the first goal that I have for 2021 is I feel like I almost need a drum roll right I'm almost acting like I'm Letterman here so maybe that's to become like Letterman by the end of the year but drum roll my first goal is to build my resell discord group to at least a thousand members now right now we're nowhere near that we're at about a hundred members so I still got 900 to go but that's very easy to accomplish if I create process oriented goals in terms of that so those process oriented goals could be add a hundred members per month so how am I going to do that well, I'm going to do that by running YouTube ads and filming my very first video by XYZ date. So that's how I would go around to be able to accomplish my goal of building this discord group to a thousand members but that is one of my top goals of the year uh, let's talk about number two number two would be to work on my other business which is expanding the professors pandemic masterminds events and hopefully being able to have a live in-person mastermind event now we typically have between 50 and 75 people that sign up for this i would like to build upon that and try to get at least 100 people per event and in order to do that what kind of process would i have to go through well it might mean that I need to create additional content and post that content. Now, while I haven't talked too much about that event here on this channel, it might mean that I would have to create additional content for FBA and then encourage people to sign up for my email list, perhaps even create a lead magnet so you can find out more about that information below. You can click on that and then start to create an email series a sequence that would indoctrinate them to what the professor's pandemic event and what the professor masterminds are. And in order to build that to a hundred members it would only mean selling about 20 to 30 more tickets which is very much a realistic expectation based on our performance in the past as well as all those process oriented goals that I just talked about so that's a second goal that I have now goal number three involves my email list for a very large portion of 2020 I stopped email marketing altogether and while I still have a pretty significant list as well as a decent amount of openers I just stopped selling them products or services that were valuable to their business and would help improve their business so one of my goals for 2021 is to get back into the affiliate marketing game via my email list so you if you are on my email list you will see more emails on there that try and help you increase your business now I do at least email them information about my YouTube lives that I hold once a week so that is being done on a regular basis but now I will hold more live webinars that help educate them as well as I will introduce them to people that I know that are legit and have really good products and or services that can help them make some decent money with a side hustle so in order to do that I will start emailing them at least one additional email per week for the rest of the year so if you're on that list you'll probably see that email in advance if you don't like to get those I apologize but if not read on I will make sure to entertain as well as help you build your side hustles all right so my next goal is to build my YouTube channel even more and that doesn't really come as a surprise to you guys since you guys know how much I love you and on top of that I do try and produce at least five videos per week just because I get sheer enjoyment from this and I like to communicate my life to you guys as well as all my side hustles and let's face it I got a lot of shit going on so I got a lot of shit to talk about and there's nobody I like talking about it more than you guys I don't want to go to psychologists what for when I can talk to all of you and I get responses from a lot of you down below and as you know I personally answer almost every single one of them now how would I like to improve and increase my number of subscribers on that well one thing that I'm not very good at is telling people to subscribe so you're gonna see me ask people to subscribe a heck of a lot more particularly in the beginning and my whole introductory pitch at the beginning I'm gonna be asking for a lot more subscribers there now the other thing that I'm gonna do is get back into the POD and design space and while I haven't found a designer I'm gonna do that specifically for the YouTube channel in order to 
continue educating you about those things because those are things that I really know about because I just know the Amazon algorithm and I'm able to associate myself with people that are geniuses in that field. So I bring back to you the knowledge that I learned from them. So in order to do that, I will have to get back into the space and find a graphic designer. So that is something else that I'm looking forward to. And then the last thing is I'm going to try and get better about documenting my journey. You guys know that I usually edit these. I usually film them. I have an editor sometimes, but I got to just get a little bit better about storytelling. I, I feel like I do do a good job at that, but I don't have somebody that's creative enough to put all my thoughts together into one nicely formatted video. And so that's the goal with the YouTube channel is to try to make sure to keep following up on comments as well as content. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Now, one more thing that I have in mind, but I haven't really set it in stone and I haven't really thought of any process oriented goals to go along with it, but I kind of wanted to get back into coaching. That is coaching Amazon, coaching people how to improve their Amazon product and coaching people overall how to just be big, badass marketers. But again, since I haven't set any process oriented goal, it's kind of just like a pipe dream right now, as many of our goals usually are if we don't create those process oriented and step by step goals. So hopefully in the next couple weeks I get that worked out or maybe I just don't do it. But one way I will be implementing something regarding that is I will create a better lead magnet below to not only help you guys and inform you more about what kind of things you can learn from me, but also I'm going to do a better job at emailing you and keeping in contact with you. And that almost goes hand in hand with the email marketing aspect of it. So again, expect to see a lot more emails from me and hopefully I can help you by emailing you and giving you information that you didn't even know was available out there. And so lastly, let's go to the last and final goal that I have for the year, which kind of might seem like a pipe dream. And it probably would have seemed like a pipe dream last year had I told you what it was, but the reality is I did stick to it last year, specifically the very last two months of the year. And let me show you guys some of my actual results as a result of, of doing this. And I know that we just repeated results. I don't know if you can actually see that. You probably cannot. This is my options account with E-Trade. And I started this options account and I'll probably have to share this screen on another video. I started with $25,000 and it's now at $30,000. $400. And the best part of all is I really didn't have to learn too much. I found a guy who is totally legit and I've been following like a hawk and it turns out the guy has made me money. So I'm going to introduce you guys to this gentleman and I'm going to keep documenting my journey on how he literally tells me what to do day in and day out. And since I joined up with him, which was back in November, which is almost four months ago, I've not had a single losing trade just following his advice for options. So I really look forward to documenting that and showing you the progress that happens as I started in November and we'll see where I'm at at the end of the year. So that seemed like a pipe dream, but now it's turning into a reality and the steps for that are the process oriented steps for that is just learning and educating myself better on the topic as well as for the meantime just following exactly what he said kind of like Daniel Sun did with Miyagi before Cobra Kai was around right yes wax on wax off that's all I did I have no idea why the rhyme or the reason behind it but as the year progresses I will jump into that and try and figure out and try to be able to do it on my own because at the end of the day the goal is if you can teach a man to fish he'll eat for a lifetime right? Rather than just <laughs> if you fish for him, he's only going to eat for that day. So I'm looking to learn how to fish from him. I found my mentor. I found my guide and I look forward to seeing what 2021 can bring in terms of gambling. So I'm back in the gambling game. I'm super fired up for that. I don't think anything can fire me up more than that. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and it fired you up to set goals like I did now. While I didn't put any monetary goals on them, I can just run through those here quickly and tell you guys what I have in mind for each of these goals. So obviously with the options trading, I'm seeing right now at about 5% return a month. So if you want to calculate that starting at the 30,000 that I'm at right now at the beginning of the year, 5% each month and you compound that, I'm not sure what that actually ends up being. I'll try to calculate it and then put it below at the end of this video. I'm not going to withdraw anything. I'm just going to leave it on there and let it roll and we'll see what happens. But that's the goal with that. The goal with the reseller group is to get at least a thousand people. And it's important to note that those thousand people will be on the, in there an average of $60 per month. So it's a thousand times 60. That would mean $60,000 a month in revenue. Again, I have some partners in that, so that's not going to be totally mine. Uh, for YouTube, I get right now about $1,300 a month by year's end. I look to be shooting for doubling that because it should be double the amount of people. So $2,600 to $3,000 a month would be my goal for that. And then for this particular mastermind, we usually sell at $50 and uh, we have typically done 50 sales per, per event and that's a virtual event. Now when we do 
live and in-person events, it's a heck of a lot more, but 50,000 times uh, four is 200,000. So double that, it would be $400,000 in the year doing that. Now, the uh, things that you do not see on there, and let me double check and make sure I covered everything. The last thing would be the email marketing. Now, I have made upwards of a uh, $500,000 a year doing that. Uh, this year, I'm gonna shoot a little bit lower. I'm gonna shoot for like $200,000 on the email marketing. I'll explain the logic if you guys want me to in another video, uh, but that's just because it's kind of cold. I haven't really done it too much. And the last thing that I didn't mention in there is my Amazon FBA business. Remember, I am tied up in litigation with that. I hope to get that back at some point and be able to jump back into the FBA game. But until then, I'm not going to do anything with FBA other than continue to learn the algorithm, continue to go to masterminds and continue to educate and network with the best of the best, which I will be doing because on February 15th and 16th, I do have a live and in-person mastermind virtually in person, which is the professor's pandemic event. So if you do want to find out more about that, head on over to howardtie.com forward slash PPE, the number three. Right now we have early bird pricing. So you get that for 50% off. And again, that didn't mean to be a Pitch. I'm just keeping you guys in line with what I'm doing in 2021 and beyond. So again, questions in your comments, post them below. I always personally answer them and I'll see you in another video.